Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, and we are Let's Playing Star Ocean First Departure. In the last episode, we recruited Philia, who's a knight of Astral. Oh, right. Before we leave, let us head to the inn. Um. There we go. Yeah, if we watch, uh, if we go to the inn, we'll see a scene, I believe. Maybe give us some whereabouts of where Millie and the captain are. Where the hell are they? Penny for your thoughts. Oh, I'm sending a prayer to the gods in their holy sanctuary. Oh boy. Sanctuary? Oh right. That's how your people refer to outer space, isn't it? Well, I'm sorry if this is a touchy subject, I don't but I don't what if I were to tell you that you were in outer space, or what you call your holy sanctuary? Would you still believe in your gods? You see, to people like us, religion or the existence of gods, they're all just old relics that we've let go of centuries ago. There you go. I know you're from a world where everyone's far more advanced than us, Ronix. But I don't think that makes you right. Yeah, it does. How do you mean? There's more to life than just what we can see or hear. Don't you think so? Maybe, but not enough. I suppose so, yes. From our perspective, the fact that Roke exists at all, I mean, it almost seems like some sort of crazy fairy tale. You don't believe in this world, Ronix? After everything that happened to Dorn and my father, you're telling me it's all just a fantasy? No, it's just. It's just old, so old school. You have no idea how I wish it were all just a dream. Uh, no, no, I, I. I. I didn't mean it like that. I was just trying to say, you know, I just can't believe that I'm actually in this fantasy world. Yeah, like. And like. Fantasy, you know, like, you know, like medieval. Well, in that case, why don't you try learning the art of symbology? I only know how to use healing symbology, though. Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, what have you been doing up till now? What, what have you been using as a weapon or whatever? Totally. I mean, maybe you think this power is something only we can take advantage of. But if you learned it, then maybe you'd be able to believe for yourself. I mean, the whole world is connected, united as one. Yes, you're probably right. <laughs> of course I am. Look, I'm gonna be hitting at my girl. All right. So I don't even know where the hell that is, but we'll eventually find it. So yeah, uh, recruiting Philia right now doesn't mean that she's going to be in my group uh, for good. Alright, so since we're on this road, I am literally going to just stick to the road because the, air, uh, the monsters in this area are very difficult. And very difficult. Look out! Give us a little fun, huh? Ha! Firestorm Blade! Firestorm Blade! Firestorm Blade! Firestorm Blade! I was gonna say, I'm healing them. Anyone Wish they could have lasted longer. what he deserves. Wow, she's pissed off, huh? Uh, yeah, Ilya. Still stick to the, uh. I know, you know what? Attack with all you've got. So now we got our ocarina, we got our our everything. Behind us! They're behind us? Yes, they are. Firestorm! 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 
kick some ass. We yes, it really was that pity simple. For our enemies. Kick some ass. See, I don't think I'm so under leveled here. Because I am on around the same level she's at, so. Honestly, I don't think if I went off the road it would be that bad. But They're behind us! They're behind us? Seriously, how much. How many. You don't have to use your. I guess it really was that way simple. What he deserves. She's using up her MP faster than like God. How about how about you don't like go? How about you don't go crazy, Ilya? Jeez. Yeah, the reason why I say don't worry about like later on them using up their MP. Bring it on. Let's go! It's because they eventually will get... They will, like... They will... They will bring up, like, MP and stuff along. Like they will bring up MP. Well, I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10. As you go up levels, your MP will b gradually increase. Plus, there are items that you can actually get that, like, help, help that out as well. Yeah, th these are definitely some of the same sound effects that you hear in um, Valkyrie Profile as well. Look out! Give us a little fun, huh? Guess it really was that longer. simple. All right, we're kicking ass. Sweet. All right, so we're almost here at the Tataroy, which is where we're going to have, uh, where we're going to take a quick pit stop. Well, here's Tataroy. You can use the waterway to reach Astral City. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I would have been nervous if it were just Roddick and me. You shouldn't be. Roddick's skill with a sword is plain as day. Don't compliment him too much. It'll go right to his head. Yeah, I know. Ilya! <laughs> well, I have my duties as a knight that I must attend to. So if you'll excuse me. Alright, so welcome to Tataroy. The world that is... A whatever. Alright, so here we are. We can learn Technical 2. And Combat 2. So let's see what skills we have here. Eye for detail. Penmanship. Okay. Biology. Oh, I think this means uh, it goes up 10 by the level that it is here, not the actual, not your actual level. Whistling, animal training. Purity. Courage. Okay, so here we go. We got some good stuff here. This is probably pretty good. Oh, here we go. This is what I want. Erotic, at least. And Elia. Godspeed. And yeah, I'm not gonna bother with any of the spell things. Oh, there we go. Judging by the aesthetic of this area, it does not look like this is where they are. The captain and Millie. Fort Town of Trop. The Astral Cave. Oh, thank you. How's it going? He's the bartender, really?
You figure he would be behind the bar if he was a bartender. Aqua berries. Yeah, those are the ones that cure poison. This place is called Feast of Sherling. Nice. Feast of Victory. The old race, eh? Nope. No, we're not going to Astral City just yet. They were called the Demonic Wars. Really, well, it seems like this this planet has had a lot of wars. I mean, technically they're going through one right now, right? I mean, you know, they talk about the Archfiend. He's somewhere around here. All right, so there's items we can pick up. Pet food, that's pretty good. I'm gonna pick up two of those. Because you could use the pet food to summon animals. And they'll do different things for you. Alright, so the only thing I want to buy, honestly, is this. They say don't bother wasting your money buying a bunch of stuff, but... That sword's gonna help out a lot, especially the, at the thing that I want to do here. Sir Ashley. Let's see if we can meet this guy. Yep, that's the tournament area, arena of Taro Tatarai. Yeah, we're definitely going to check it out. But first, let's go this way. Because I almost forgot this area. So yeah, the fighting style that um, Roddick uses is the Edaro style. And uh, pretty much it was invented by some guy. And he uses that style. Oh, unfortunately, I can't carry anymore. The ruins of the old race can be found all across the world. Hmm. Um, what about if I use this? Where the hell is it? the one of praising. There we go. Alright, let's appraise this herb. Yeah, what is it? Figure it out, Roddick. It's lavender. So there you go. That's how pretty much item creation works, sort of. Welcome to the arena.
Wow, they're a group of they're a group of adventurers that just do that. So yeah, you could like literally talk to everybody here probably. The monster catchers. Alright, so we're gonna try and recruit somebody here. And the person we're gonna try to recruit is this guy. Bunch of puppets. The whole lot of them. Pardon? Look at them. All dancing to a useless heap of drilled in techniques. There's no hope of any of them ever reaching the next level. I've wasted my time coming here. Alright, so he's pissed off. And he's mad that everybody's... Everybody sucks, pretty much. So what we gotta do... Is come over here and... And, pr and fight in a rank and win one rank. So let's sign up. Roddick will be completing in rank H. And yeah, these are the items. They only give us so many items to... Yeah, we only have one fan right now. Yeah, so that weapon that I have wish they could have lasted longer will help me out much very very a lot very a lot in here And I think there's five rounds you Let's go Huh it's over there we go. Beat him. Yeah, I want to say there's five rounds. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, that this was, was way too fast. A one-on-one -on -one battle. We're crushing it here. We're crushing the competition. Round four. Let's go. Let's take on you, you son of a yeah. Wish they could have lasted longer. Next, the final round. Let's go. Ooh. Firestorm blade. Firestorm blade. Firestorm Blade! Firestorm Blade! Boom, crushed you. That was way too fast. I can feel the power flowing. Double slash, yeah. Woo, yeah. Roddick wins rank H. Yay, we got a medical set. Yay. That's how we kick ass. Okay, so let's get the hell out of here. Now we've done that, let's head over back to the inn. And there's someone that I missed over there.
this lady here. Her name is Puffy. She's the, uh, I don't know, let's do it. You're walking in a cave, and when the plat splits in two, which way do you go? I'm going left. There's a corpse sprawled on the ground, shredded so badly that probably faint so what do you do? Let's search the corpse. Really, really, really? Let me search it already. You get the f one flare bomb and 120 full. Here you go. Sorry? So we don't even get enough full. Wow, we, we don't even have enough full to... Yeah, let's pray for him. Yeah, even though we did, even though we just... Hey, there's a kitty. We'll have to sell with rock, paper, scissors. How about if I use the flare bomb? That's not nice. And then we get a murky potion. The Archfiend now Nios. Funeral Nizzle and Matt, you couldn't even have an easy fought your way here, but it ends now. Um Unfortunately, I'll use an item. A nuclear bomb. Alright, I'm gonna run for it. Look at Roddick running around like an idiot. Yeah, if we have an item called the nuclear bomb, we can actually get 100 skill points, 600 full, and a saber. Alright, I don't want to do anything. I want out of this thing. How Don Quixote of you. Yeah, so you can come back here as long as you don't use the murky potion. Alright, so we're done here. Alright, so here's this guy here. Wait, are you? Ah, yes, we've met before. Are you traveling to Astral as well? Yes, is that where you're headed? I can't help but notice you're traveling as a couple. Mind if I hear your story? Well, not like as a couple couple. I've been traveling the world for many a year now. I'm sure there's something I might be able to help you out with. Well... Searching for your friends, are you? That's a bit of a tall order, I imagine. This is hardly a small place you're in. Hmm... Well, how about I join you in the search, then? Sure. 
I might be a bit on in years, but even without the use of my left arm, Ashley Burnbelt's not going to drag you down. How does that sound, travelers? I like it. Ashley Burnbelt? I can't believe it! You're the hero of the Demonic Wars! Well, it's an honor to see that youngsters like you still remember my name, yes. But that's an old, old tale. No need to be polite. Uh, right. Sure. Well, thank you very much, uh, Ashley. My name is Roddick Ferentz. You can call me Roddick. And I'm Elia Silvestri. Uh, please, sir, just call me Elia. Yes, to tell the truth, I happened to witness your fighting skills at the arena earlier. Oh, you did? Oh, yes. And if you'll forgive me for being trite, you've got talent. A little rough still, yes, but I'd say the spark is definitely there. Yes, there's spark everywhere. It's everywhere. R really? Oh, don't start with that. He's just being polite. <laughs> Perhaps it'd be better for him if he took it that way, yes. You need to keep your eyes on the prize, as they say. <laughs> I suppose so. This is the first time anyone's ever complimented my swordsmanship. Who taught you? The fundamentals remind me of the Adarl school, but something about it... It's very different. My father taught me the fundamentals. My goodness, well, he taught you the basic skills well, and you've altered them as needed for the battlefield. That takes skill. Yeah, it does. Oh, Roddick, the boat's leaving. Let's get on. All right, so now we got a new party member, Ashley uh, Burnbelt. He's awesome. Talented blood and a talented master. I thank my stars I came to this place today. My luck must truly be boundless. Yeah, he's a pretty awesome character. He's only got one arm, but he's pretty cool. And no offense if you had Seus. If you had Seus here, you uh, would... Lady Fia, it's unsafe to be by yourself. No! Whoa, what's what? going on? What are you doing? No! What's oh. going on? Why is she killing people? Why? Why would she do that? Excuse me, sir. You wouldn't happen to be Ashley, would you? One and the same, yes. It's me. Don't you remember me, sir? Fia Mel? Yeah, so this is this uh this is a little ah, bit different. Yes. Now I remember. You're Lias' daughter. Whether you're you whether you are um what is it? Whether you took uh Cius or Ashley. See you can't you can't take one or the other. Yes. It's been such a long time. Indeed, too long. Ten years as I recall. Is Lias doing well? Of course. We'd all be in trouble if we were without his leadership as Captain of the Night Corps. Ah, so we meet again. Are you traveling with this group? Hmm? You know them? I happen to come across them in the midst of my travels. I'm here to pay the man a visit. Why don't you come by yourself later? I'd be happy to guide you to Lord Lias's mansion. He's moved since last you've seen him. Yeah, well, I'd rather... Ah, uh, yes. Well, thank you. I'd rather explore the town by myself. Why do we have such, like, sinister music in this town? Here it is. Lord Lias! You have visitors! I'm coming. I'm coming. I thought I told you not to call me that in the house. Father, here are your guests. Yeah, so she's the daughter of, uh, 
of him. Ashley? Or he's oh, the, yeah. Ashley! He's the dead. How long has it been? Too long. Glad to see you are well. Where's the kid? Is he in the castle? Yeah. I'll tell you about that later. So pretty By much... By the way, who did you come with? These are my traveling companions. Yeah, we already know I people see. in high places. Well, any friends of Ashley's are honored guests of mine. We already know Thank people. you for coming. Feel free to make the most of my humble abode during your stay in Astral. Why are we here anyways? Pretty swanky. Humble abode, huh? There's a huge market on Earth for antiques like these. You'd have to be an Admiral class officer to afford a place like this. Yeah, he must be he must be like top tier dude here, huh? Well, might as well enjoy it while we can. That's true. Yeah. So, now what? We've gotta keep searching for Millie and the captain. Damn right we do. Let's uh take a walk. I'm with you there. Let's take a look around. I'd like to do some weapon shopping too. Yeah, we wanna do that. Right. Before we'll meet we back do... here when we're done. Yeah, we wanna do that before we do anything. And yeah, right now we don't have Ashley in our group Ashley in our group yet, so unfortunately. And uh spoiler alert. I know this is going to be a little bit of a spoiler, but Cius is actually this guy's, uh, this guy's son. That's when they're yapping about, like, where's the boy? I don't know if I should have been here yet. You look haggard. Oh? <laughs> I guess so. Ever since my son left the house, perhaps. They might even say here. What happened between you two? The assistant captain post in the first night corps opened up just as my son joined the force. I couldn't find anyone with the right field experience for the position, so I recommended Cius. A move that generated some very painful criticism. They wound up putting him through the ringer, and I feel it was all my doing. I should make it clear that Cius being nominated had absolutely nothing to do with him being my son. So yeah, there you go. I understand that, and I know perfectly well how talented he is, too. He probably didn't realize how good he was back then. That may be true, but perhaps I was rushing things a little too quickly. Probably. Probably shouldn't. And I'm him. sure it must have made him an extremely distrustful young man. Distrustful of the core, of his father, even of himself. That's a shame. Hmm. And Fia took the bulk of the pain, too. Don't mention Cius around her, all right? Yeah, she's his sister. She... Well, she had a fondness for Cius, so you could say this whole Night Captain situation completely flipped that on its head. Is that why she's the Night Captain? Ah, girls. Difficult to deal with at that age. If that's how bad things became, I doubt there's much you could do. Besides, time smooths everything over. Maybe. That's a nice thought, but who knows? All right, we'll just explore a little bit more of the house, and then I'm gonna leave the house, and then we're gonna um, I'm actually gonna stop the video here, and in the next episode, we'll continue exploring Astral as we look for um, I don't know. We'll just, we look for friends, which they're probably not here. Anyways, I'm in Kenshin 1913. I'll see ya in the next episode. Bye bye.